Can we make a hanging basket out of a triangle? Let's find out. Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a super super easy hanging basket out of a triangle and for this tutorial you can actually use any yarn that you want you can use cotton you can use a corded type of yarn you can use acrylic any any type of yarn is going to work also any weight and any crochet hook for this tutorial i am using the king yarn by teslam.com and this one it's a different it's a super super different yarn actually it's a taped corded type of yarn it is cotton and i'm going to be leaving all the materials everything that i'm going to be using in the description so feel free to check it out also i'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook small pair of scissors tapestry needle so that we can do the sewings and maybe a couple of stitch markers, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be using them. So I really hope you like the tutorial. And now let's begin. First, I'm going to show you how to crochet the actual triangle. So let's begin by working a magic ring. And then right after the ring, you can chain four. And this chain four is equivalent to a double crochet and a chain one space. Now into the ring, you're going to be working three double crochets. A chain of two. And three double crochets. All into the magic ring. So now to finish row one, you're going to chain one and then double crochet into the ring. So you can see that the ending here, it's similar to the beginning. So we have the chain three in which is a double crochet and then the chain one and chain one at the end. So once you have row number one, we can now close the ring by pulling the end nice and tight. And here we have row number one completed. So to go up, you're going to chain four, turn project. So now you have the reverse facing up and then into that chain one space right at the beginning. So we have a little space here into that space. We are going to be working three double crochets. And then we are going to chain one. Now we are going to go into that chain two space right at the top. And then into that chain two, we are going to be working a shell. So the shell, it's three double crochets. A chain of two and three double crochets all into the same chain two space. So here we have the shell. Three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets into the chain two space right at the top. And now to finish it off, row number two, chain one, you're going to be finding that space right at the end in between the three double crochets and the chain four. So you're going to go into that space going around the chain four as you can see. And then into that we are going to be working three double crochets. And then chain one. And now you're just going to pull a little bit the chain four. You're going to be finding the chain three, the third chain. So you can count one, two, and three. And then into that chain three, you are going to be working a double crochet. Make sure that you get two loops of that chain, as you can see. And then work one double crochet into that. So now here we have row number two. So now let's move on into row number three in which is exactly the same way 
as we did number two here, but now we are going to be having more chain one spaces. So the beginning and the end will always be the same. So chain four, turn project, and three double crochets into that chain one space right at the beginning. So now chain one, and every time you see a chain one space in between the beginning and the top, the shell here, you're always going to be doing three double crochets into the chain one spaces. So we have just one, and every time we go up a row, we're going to be having more chain one spaces. This one, we just have one. So into that chain one space, you're going to be skipping everything as you can see. Into the chain one space, work three double crochets. Chain one, and now we go at the top, so into that chain two, we are going to be working the shell. So three double crochets, a chain of two, and three double crochets, all into the same chain two space at the top. So now chain one, we go here on the other side, we are going to repeat the same steps. So into that chain one space, skip everything, all the stitches, the double crochets, go into the chain one space and work three double crochets. Now to finish it off, it's exactly the same as the previous row, we are going to chain one, into the space right at the end, going around the chain four here. We are going to be working three double crochets. And then chain one, find the third chain, one, two, three. And then into that, work one double crochet. So now here we have row number three completed. So now let's do row four together and then the rest you can just follow the same steps. So first we are going to be starting with the chain four. So the beginning and the end and the top will always be the same. It's just the numbers of chain ones that is going to increase on the sides of the triangle. So chain four, turn project. And then right into that chain one space at the beginning, work three double crochets. Chain one. And then into the next chain one space, work three double crochets. Chain one. And then into the following chain one space, three double crochets. Chain one. And then at the top into that chain two space, work your shell. So three double crochets, a chain of two and three double crochets. Chain one into the next chain one space, work three double crochets, chain one, into the following chain one space, three double crochets, chain one, and then the ending, it's exactly the same as the previous row. So into that chain four, into that space, work three double crochets. Chain one, and then one double crochet into the third chain. So now here we have row number four now completed and you can see now that we have three chain one spaces on the sides. 
we have started with one on both sides and then two and now three. So every time you go up, you will have more chain one spaces on the sides. So just keep on repeating the same steps as you've made for row four. So every time you see the chain one spaces, you're going to be doing the three double crochets and remember to chain one in between the three double crochets as well. And the beginning, the end, and where we do the shells at the top of the chain two will remain the same for all the rows. So I'm going to now carry on following the same steps, creating my rows, and then I will be back once I have the sizing that I want for my triangle. So as you can see, I have now completed my triangle. I have all the rows that I wanted to do. This is the sizing of my basket. And here I have 21 rows in total, and I'm going to be measuring this one for you if you are using a different yarn weight and you wanna know. So from top to bottom, it's 37 centimeters. And then from one side to the other, that is 71 centimeters. Now, if you want, you can keep yours just like this and then skip to the part where I do the actual basket. And then you can use this chain two space as the loop. Now, if you want to change it up a little bit, we can actually make a loop right at the top. So what I'm going to be doing is following the same steps, creating the beginning here as I did previously and then the three double crochets in each of these chain one spaces and chaining one in between them and then I'm going to meet you here at the top when we have to do the shell because right here we can actually do a loop that it's really really fun and I really want to do that instead of using the chain one the chain two space at the top so when you get into the chain two space you can see that I've done all my three double crochets here on the side so chain one now and then work three double crochets into that chain two space at the top. So for the loop here, you have two options. You can just chain as long as you want the loop to be and then carry on the other side or you can do what I'm going to be showing you now. So from where you left off right after that double crochet, you're going to insert your hook right in the middle of that double crochet in a stitch right in the middle. And then you're going to pull up a loop just like this. You will have two loops on the hook. And then all you have to do is to yarn over and pull through that first loop, keeping those two loops on the hook like this. Now you can single crochet. So yarn over and pull through the two loops. If you see here, we have the single crochet and then we have the loop just underneath the single crochet. We have a loop here. So you're gonna go into that loop insert your hook into that and then you're going to pull up a loop and now you're going to be repeating the same as we did into that first one. So yarn over, pull through just one loop, keeping those two loops on the hook and then yarn over and pull through those two loops. And you're going to be repeating this same step until you have the sizing of the loop you want. So let's do just one more together. So go into the loop underneath the single crochet, so this one, pull up a loop, now yarn over and pull through the first loop, keeping those two loops on the hook like this, now yarn over and pull through two. And that's it. So repeat the same steps until you have the sizing that you want. So once you're happy, this is how mine looks like and I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 single crochets in total. Then I'm going to return into that chain two space and then I'm going to finish it off. So I have to do three double crochets to finish it off. So we are basically going to be skipping the chain two because instead of the chain two, we have now the loop. So this is how it looks like here at the top. And now from here, you can just chain one and continue the three double crochets into every chain one space and don't forget to chain one in between the three double crochets. So now we have the loop completed and the last thing that we have to do is to sew this triangle into our basket. And it's as simple as folding both sides together here in the middle. So let's do that together. 
I've chosen that I want to fold about 12 centimeters in. So right in the middle here, you're going to be placing your tape measure into 12 centimeters. But you see that you don't really have to do this. This is just me showing you how much I'm doing. So I have here 12 centimeters right in the middle. You're going to be starting with the side that you have the yarn attached into your project. So now I'm going to be folding this until I get to the beginning of the tape measure. So until I get to the zero centimeter, as you can see. So I'm going to be placing it right here. Now I can remove this from here. And the other side, I'm just going to be folding it right on top of the other, just like this. We have to fasten off. So what I'm going to be doing is having three times the amount of yarn to sew this in place. So what I mean by that is I'm going to be going over the top three times with my yarn. So one, because I'm doing a triangle like this. Two. And three, you can do one more if you want, but usually three, it's more than enough. So now I'm going to be cutting off my yarn. And now we can fasten off. So if you want, you can just stitch mark everything in place. So I'm just going to be putting the beginning together so it's not going to be moving around. And also the ending here where I have to do the sewing. So I'm just going to stitch mark all the layers in place, all the three layers, because we are going to be sewing three layers together now. And then I'm going to be placing another stitch marker right at the top just so that this is not going to be moving anywhere. And then you want to thread this yarn into a tapestry needle. And now let's start sewing. So I'm going to be starting here at the beginning. So I'm going to be removing this stitch marker because we will need to use all the stitches that we have here. So just join all the three parts together. And then you want to get one stitch at the bottom one of the middle section and then one at the top just so that we can secure all this together. So sew this really nice and tight in place. You can go over that one more time if you want. So just get one stitch of the bottom, one of the middle, one of the top and sew the three together. So again, one of the bottom, one of the middle, one of the top, and sew the three together. And then you're going to be doing this all the way down. So just follow the same steps. So I'm getting now towards the end, as you can see, I've done all the sewing of the rest. So I'm going to be removing this stitch marker. So remember to get the three stitches, one little stitch of the three sections and sew them together. Then I'm going to just do the same all the way down. At the end, I'm just going to get one stitch of the side and then one last stitch of the folded over side. Sew the two together. So now I have the bottom sewn together. I'm now going to be sewing the one at the top. So this side that we have folded on top. So it's pretty simple. We have the stitches on this one, so this one is going to be easy. So you can see that we have the stitches here. So just go into the next stitch that you can find and then you're just going to get one stitch of the base here, the bottom. Make sure that you don't get all the layers, it's just the top one. You don't want to sew the one at the back into this section here. Make sure that you check that out. So sew this one together. 
go into the next stitch, find one little stitch of the bottom and sew the two together and then just repeat the same all the way up. So I finished the sewing here on the side. I'm going to remove my stitch marker, the one at the top, and I'm just going to be sewing two stitches here at the top together. So I'm going to sew this chain one with this other chain one on the other side. So sew these two together. I'm gonna go through these two stitches, the last two that I did, just one more time, just so that we can secure these two stitches in place. I'm going to be sewing the other two that we have here inside together as well, just so that it's not going to be moving around, but you don't really have to do this. This is optional. I'm going to be turning here on the reverse. This is my reverse. And I'm going to be repeating the same thing that I did to the other side here inside the basket and sewing this two layers together. So I'm getting towards the end. I'm just going to be sewing this last little section here. So just following the same steps all the way down. Just grabbing one little stitch of the bottom, one of the top, and sewing the two together. And then here at the end, I'm going to fasten off. So I'm gonna go through that last stitch one more time like this. And then I'm gonna go through the loop before I finish the sewing to fasten off. And now I'm going to weave in. So just choose a couple of stitches to weave in. I'm going to be doing it here. So go back and forth, skipping the first loop when you weave in. And then I do that four times for this particular yarn. Now I'm going to be cutting off the end and I'm done. I'm going to then, because I'm here on the reverse, also weave in this other yarn that I have. So move this yarn to the reverse and then you can just choose a couple of stitches to weave this yarn in here inside the basket. So this is my reverse. I'm going to be turning on the right side. And we are basically done with our basket. And now you can just go ahead and hang anywhere that you want. And when you hang it, it's going to turn into a little basket as you can see. So you can place anything that you want inside. And it's looking so cute. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I made a basket out of a triangle. I'm speechless. So I found a little spot that we can actually try this out together. So I'm going to hang it right here. I love how it looks like, and it's like a triangle. It looks really fun, super different. I really like it. So let's just hang this right here. And this is how it looks like. Check that out. Let's first try with some plants. Um, I think that this one is going to be too heavy, but let's just see how it looks. Oh, actually it's not that heavy. <gasps> that looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Let's get you guys closer so you can see. No way. That is so beautiful. I love that. Stunning. Let's try with another plant. A little bit smaller so we can see how it looks. Also, I'm going to get some yarns as well. So I have this other smaller plant pot with this fake plant. So, so cute. So let's try with this one. So this is how it looks with this one. I think that with the other one looks better. So if you want to use a smaller plum posh, then maybe you want to make the triangle smaller. So maybe you can just make the triangle and then just wrap it around before you sew it together, depending on the sizing of your plum pot. I wanted to use for my yarns, but now that I've seen with my beautiful fern plant, I might use for that plant because it looks so cute. But now let's try with some yarns. Thank you. 
So the idea I had was to do this. So to have some yarns inside the basket. But now that I've seen with this plant, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I really like it. I cannot wait to make some more and put all over the house. <laughs> Why not? So this is how you crochet a super quick, easy hanging basket out of a triangle. This is how it looks and it looks super cute. I love how this turned out, oh my goodness, and it was so quick to make. I took probably around two hours, two hours and a half to do all the rows because I was watching a movie and I did all the 21 rows watching a movie. Not all the 21, I did four with you guys. So probably around two hours, two and a half in total to complete this beautiful hanging basket. So let's just change it to see how it looks just one more time, just one more time. Ah, oh my goodness, look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. So what do you think? Do you like it? Are you going to be making one? Let me know what you're gonna use it for in the comments below. And if you end up making one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, on TikTok, so that I can see your take on this one and how you're going to be using your beautiful and new hanging basket. So if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more crochet tutorials just like this one. So thank you so, so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>